All right, I thought I would do an unboxing video. We are gonna be making some bath bombs and a lady on YouTube that I have followed recommended this place to be able to get the um, pigments and different scents from. So this company is out of um, Canada. And we did discover there is one that's broken in here, uh, but we decided to get the sample pack and how it works with her is that uh, you get a bundle, I think it's three of them for each sample pack, and they're in the one ounce things, which I mean, honestly, this is actually a lot. So the whole thought process behind this is that you can try all the different scents from them and figure, figure out what you really like. And um, without seeing these ahead of time, uh, I thought that maybe only one of them would be good for like a bath bomb batch, but I think this would be good enough for several of them. Cause I wanna say in the recipe that we're using, it's maybe like a teaspoon or something. So you should be able to get a ton of them. Do we know which one is missing? Uh, which one's leaky and leaking? Yeah. No, not so much. So it's maybe it's just a residue. So maybe yeah. we're not gonna have to get a new one, but just try to figure out how to save the bottle. So we got green apple, Jolly, um, oh, that one's backwards. I put it back on there. Oh, okay. So, uh, candy fluff. This one was a substitute because they were out of one that we were looking for. And she said that one is a close one. Winter candy apple, fruit loops, um, peach candy. They have a new one that they just, uh, sent an email out about that's, um, I think it's like warm peach vanilla, something that seemed really, really interesting. Uh, Grape Jolly Rancher. That's your Christmas cookie. Oh, Christmas cookie. That would get you a whole bunch. This is the regular full size one that they offer. I thought I would do um, some Christmas bath bombs with that one for my clients and their pedicures. Blue raspberry. Yay. This one is watermelon. We kind of went with a Jolly Rancher theme, I think. Yes. And bombshell from Victoria's Secret. Yay. Except shit's off. Awesome. And then... These are the different um, pigments that you can be able to use in there. So my thought process is we're gonna make the little um, embeds that will explode and do a bunch of different colors of the embeds to see how they swirl and turn. Um, oh yeah, purple mica. That's crazy, that's apple green. That is really crazy, okay. You kind of line all these out. I wonder if they change colors when they're mixed with the well, water. Well, yeah, and this comes, like, this is what it comes oh, in. Oh, there you go. Again, did the sample pack, and um, I had emailed them to try to ask them some questions about it. I have not heard back. Um, they did reply, but said that they would get the owner to be able to reply to the actual email. Because I was wondering, of these sample packs, how many we could get. And I definitely think this is the way to go, because, again, I think it's only, like, one teaspoon that you would use of this in each bath bomb recipe so you should be able to really figure out what all of the different colors would be but i don't know again this is amethyst and it yeah. looks red so that's really weird but and that's the directions on the back so it says yeah. to make sure Green you use a small orange. amount of water to activate your dye color oh yeah here so I don't think it said this one in there for two cups. So that'll help you with whatever recipe you're doing. Cause you don't want to put too much in there because then it could temporarily um, discolor your then there's candy. Uh, bath. And these are like, it seems like anything I get shipped in from Canada always comes with the little tiny maple candies. I did order a large size of the plum because I love purple and I thought that would be genius. And then this, the pure white glitter, um, this is gonna be an interesting thing for me. They do have chunky glitters up there, but I kind of thought that if you had this in a bath bomb, when you get out of said bath, I picture it being like a mermaid getting out of water with all of her skin glistening and glittering like she should. So hopefully when I get out of the bath, I will be glistening like a mermaid coming from the ocean. All right, I uh, hope this helps you if you're gonna place an order with them. I would say they got out the order like really quick um, in relation to when I placed it. Like the only thing that took a little bit longer is trying to find a replacement scent for that one. 
Otherwise, it probably would have been shipped out the same exact day. So good luck. Okay, so I wanted to show a close up of the different colors because as this says, it's apple green and it doesn't get its true color until water is added to it. Um, this one is the teal. This one is the yellow, which I do say it's kind of like a little apricotty yellow. Real red. It's not bright, bright red. This one is orange. The amethyst, it does kind of have a little bit more blue to it. This one is the plum. This one I definitely think looks more plummy brown, like a purpley brown. And then blue, this one's definitely super, 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 super pretty blue. And then coral. And this is all of the ones from the sample pack, except for this guy that I had bought in extra. And I did save from each of the formulas, which I'll break all this stuff up to be able to use in like a loose embed power powder when I make them because I didn't have enough molds to be able to try out all of the different colors that I wanted to try out. 